I know you wanted to focus on on Dylan Cease did. and uh, didn't leave with didn't leave the game with the lead. But man, he certainly left with an impression. What a game! Yeah, yeah. I mean, really good game. Oh, two excellent down. games. Yeah. Tied up in the ninth, and then Blue Jays get one in tenth. White Sox in eleventh. It's crazy. Oh, what forth. a game! Um, yeah, and by the way, we just say about Tony Larusa. So, did you know in 1983 when the White Sox went to the playoffs? Yeah. After 66 games, do you know what the record was for Tony Larusa in the '83 White Sox? No. Same exact record as it is now. Mm-hmm. Well, so this team let, has let's dealt just play with it a lot. Yeah. They've dealt with a lot. I was like most that team. teams, right? And I grew up watching them. So you're White Sox. So you knew that they were 500 after 66 well, I, 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 I don't know what happened yesterday, but we, we did. So they're, listen, uh, when you have key injuries or at least guys that you sign are counting on yeah. and they don't either do it or there's, there's injuries, now you got to find where you go, right? Dylan Cease is a guy that's come on the scene, uh, always been impressed <coughs> with his stuff. Certainly what comes out of his arm, 95 to 100 miles an hour, and a slider that really, we say this often, wow, that's unhittable. It, it, Cliffy, it actually is. But I wanted to show this right here, right? So you got Dylan Cease is the last of that group. You got Lance Lynn, uh, Keiko got DFA'd, Kopech has been good, uh, and you just have kind of been spinning the wheels a little bit. I know that Keiko ended up not doing well. He, he's out of there. Velasquez has been in, in uh, starting, and now he's been relieving. Giolito's got a 4.78. Cueto's done a nice job uh, with a 2.95, no doubt about it. Lance Lynn had knee, knee surgery. So there's a lot of mess going on, right? Dylan Cease, folks, he is the epitome of the analytics world. High fastball and a breaking ball down in the zone. They call it some some metrics call his breaking ball a, a curveball. It's a slider, but the reason why it looks like a curveball because it's got a big break. But the velocity on some of these is is really hard. So with respect to what he's done, this is the pitch clip that has been nearly unhittable. And watch it last night, all right-handed hitters. So you got right on right with Dylan Cease and the Blue Jays. Slider, slider, slab. Of all of his 11 strikeouts, they were on the slider. And it's that good. I, I, you, you have the combination. I wanted to show where, with respect to these right-handed hitters, they know what's coming. He barely comes inside. He fastball paints away. He elevates, and then he throws that slider. I wanted to show Teoscar uh, Hernandez. He ends up throwing two fastballs. Fastball up in the zone, fastball down and away, and then a slider. How about here? Three punch outs. Uh, with Springer. Slider, okay, pulls his head off. What are you saying? Well, let's throw it again. Oh, boy, he didn't see that, did he, Cliff? Let me try it again. Wow. It was actually even better after the 0-2 pitch with respect to slider, slider, slider. That's when you know, folks, you have a pitch. He's basically a two-pitch pitcher. In, in, in this 14-game start, he's got a 2-6-8 uh, ERA, 74 innings, and 108 strikeouts, the most in baseball. Look what he did yesterday, and this is what I like when you look at pitcher, catcher, pitching coach, scouting report. He el he ended up throwing more changeups, as you see against the Blue Jays, and talked about it yesterday uh, about McClanahan with the against the Yankees, where he threw more changeups in Tampa Bay when he was pitching against the Yankees. But this right here is on the fly; doesn't throw changeups. If you're looking at this clip, you got a guy that's proud of his heater. He throws 95 to 100 miles an hour, and you're going to get a wipeout slider. Matter of fact, the slider, and I'll show you here. He's got the most strikeouts of anybody in baseball on this pitch. And again, it tells me Dylan Cease is figuring out his way. Yeah. I actually think there's a next level, no doubt about it. If he gets to a point where he's comfortable and he has confidence in a third pitch, it's only going to get better for him. Because right now, he is dominating with two pitches. He occasionally throws a curveball, which hasn't been great. The, 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 it's at a, three, a 343 clip right now with his slower breaking ball just kind of getting burned. But I wanted to show that and the importance of finding who is going to be the guy that's going to help them down the stretch. You got Lance Lynn back. Uh, Cueto's been a nice sign. I like Kopech. Sprays it a little bit. Right. If they could get him to be even remotely close or just stay consistent in the last 14 starts to be that guy to carry them through into September. This is a team that I think everybody needs to pay attention. We like their prospects. We like the young players in this lineup. I know they've had injury. They've, they've done some improvements in the bullpen, like Liam Hendricks. Right. I, look, I, if, you're in that they clubhouse, Cliff, if you're in that clubhouse, Cliff, and after all that you've been through, the injuries and the controversy, and you find yourself this morning at 500, you've got to feel pretty good, this. right? Keep it going. Yeah. Let's keep it going. Let's not, you know, let's get to the park early. Let's bond. Let's get our boys back. Let's feel good. Let's talk about getting got. Hey, Lance Land, we don't need you to rush. 
Just build yourself back yeah. up. We're going to hold down the fort. But that board to me was great, Al, because I've heard you say to some of these pitchers, stop trying to be cute. Stop trying to tinker with certain things that just are not working for you. So if you eliminate a couple pitches as a hitter, we're going to the meeting going, whoa. Well, he eliminated them because we were hoping yeah. that he would throw a changeup. We were hoping that he would throw a couple of these pitches that he's not comfortable with. If he's going to have a wipeout slider yep. along with 97 to 100, I mean, George Springer is one of the best in the game. And if you're going to make him look like that, because – if you're hitting location, to me, we talked about it yesterday, location is everything that's going to hinder me from being great as a hitter. Yep. Yeah. And that's what we saw from Dylan Cease yesterday was pitches that were in and out the zone but looked like strikes out his hand. Mm -hmm. And if that's going to be the case, he is that guy you're talking yeah. about.